hi guys welcome back to my channel prezi go tv and today we will be discussing extensively on cell biology cell biology is a study of the structure function and behavior of cells which are the basic unit of life cells are the building blocks of all living organism from simple bacteria to complex multicellular organisms like humans the cell structure one plasma membrane the plasma membrane also known as the cell membrane is the outermost layer of the cell it separates the cell from its environment and regulates the movement of material in and out of the cell. The plasma membrane is semi-permeable, allowing certain substances to pass through while keeping others out. 2. Cytoplasm The cytoplasm is the jelly-like substance inside the cell where organelles are suspended. It's composed of water, salts, sugar, and various organelles. Cytoplasm plays a crucial role in maintaining the cell internal environment and facilitating metabolic processes. 3. Nucleus The nucleus is the control center of the cell containing DNA. It's surrounded by a double membrane called the nuclear envelope. The nuclear the nucleus regulates cell growth division and function by controlling gene expression. Four mitochondria. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell, generating energy through cellular respiration. They convert glucose into ATP, which is known as adenosine triphosphate, which is the primary energy source of the cell. Mitochondria have their own DNA and can replicate independently. 5. Endoplasmic reticulum. The ER is a network of membranous tubules and Cystena involves in protein synthesis and transport. There are two types of there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, which are rough endoplasmic reticulum with ribosomes and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is without ribosomes. The endoplasmic reticulum plays a crucial role in protein folding, modification, and transport. C is Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is a complex of flattened sacs and tubules involved in protein modification and transport. It receives protein from the ER and modifies them by adding carbohydrate lipids or other molecules. The Golgi apparatus then packages this protein into vesicles for transport to other parts of the cell or for secretion. 7. Lysosomes Lysosomes are membrane-bound sacs containing digestive enzymes. They break down the recycled cellular waste, protein, and lipid. Lysosomes also play a role in cell defense against pathogens. 8. Ribosomes Ribosomes are small organelles found throughout the cytoplasm. They are responsible for protein synthesis. They read messenger RNA sequences and assemble amino acid into proteins. 
Ribosomes can be free floating or attached to the ER cell function. 1. Metabolism. Metabolism refers to the process by which cells convert energy and nutrients into usable forms. It involves the breakdown of nutrients to produce energy which is catabolism, and the synthesis of new molecules, which is anabolism. 2. Protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is the process by which cells create proteins, which perform specific function. It involves transcription, which is DNA to RNA, and translation, which is RNA to protein. Cell signaling, which is number three. Cell signaling refers to the communication between cells through signals. It involves signals and the transmission of signals from one cell to another, which can trigger various responses. Four, cell diffusion. Cell division is the process by which cells divide to produce, grow, and repair tissues. There are two types of cell division, which is mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis resulting in identical daughter cells and meiosis resulting in genetically diverse daughter cells. 5. Waste management. Waste management refers to the process by which cells remove waste products through exocytosis and endocytosis. Exocytosis refers exocytosis involves the release of waste products outside the cell, while endocytosis involves the uptake of waste products into the cell cell types number one prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cells lack a true nucleus and other membrane bound organelles they are typically small simple cells such as bacteria two eukaryotic cells Eukaryotic cells have a true nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. They are typically larger, more complex cells such as plants, animals, and fungi. Ce cellular processes. Number one, cell cycle. The cell cycle refers to the sequence of events from cell division to cell from cell sequence of event from cell division to cell division it involves the stages of interface which is the growth dna replication and mitosis which is the cell division two apoptosis apoptosis is programmed cell death a process by which cell dies in a controlled manner. It's essentially for maintaining tissues, homeostasis, and preventing diseases. 3. Cell migration. Cell migration refers to the movement of cells to new locations. 4. Cell differentiation. Cell differentiation refers to the process by which cell specializes into specific types. It's essential for development and maintenance of tissue. Okay, guys, today we will be stopping here. Please, if you do like this video, this educative video, please smash the subscription button, share this video to family and friends and also like this video 
please do well to support my little channel Prezi Gold TV. Bye. See you in my next video.